Techno Barbarian. It's a wonderfully evocative name, one that immediately invokes a Mad Max aesthetic, barbarians fighting over the ruins of technology they no longer understand. And Techno Barbarians were what ruled Terra before the Emperor took control and began his great crusade to reunite humanity. Unfortunately, Games Workshop has never released any models for them, which is a pity because the little art there is of them is so distinctively weird in a rogue trader way. For the base of this build, I'm using one of the Lady Marines I made in a previous video. She was my least favorite of the three I put together, so I didn't mind disassembling her and harvesting the Stormcast legs to work with the Custodes torso. The Custodes as a whole are a gaudy and golden faction, and that matches perfectly with the kitschy aesthetic I was going for with these Techno Barbarians. The belt jewel though was a touch too much, so I cut it off and smoothed Millie put over the gap to continue the robes of the Stormcast legs. Taking off the jewel also turned her silhouette really statuesque and elegant. To contrast it, I opted for this Chaos Terminator auto cannon. I love how huge it is compared to her, and also that it kind of looks like it's a modified anti-air gun someone ripped off a turret and latched onto a power arm. It adds an element of the tarnished gold I was aiming for, a little ramshackle and blunt. For the left arm, I picked this power claw and glued it in a pointing pose. It gives my Techno Barbarian a little bit of a sinister, dramatic edge, and the curved and bulbous armor is very kitschy. For her head, I had a bunch of options that worked really well, really made her weird and unique in the way I was looking for. A lot of the male heads give her a nicely androgynous look, and I wanted the heads to be a little mutant looking. No way for them to hide the underlying rot. I eventually settled on this Primaris Eliminator head. It has a wonderfully 80s cyberpunk feel to it with its visor and rangefinder. The silent scream of the lower half of the face also adds to the sinister edge of my Techno Barbarian. For my second Techno Barbarian, I used a Stormcast Eternal Far Strider as the base. Stormcast Eternals have a really rogue trader 80s vibe to them to begin with. Honestly, it was actually really hard to figure out which parts to swap out because they're all already pretty kitschy. For example, I hate Stormcast Pauldrons, but they fit that rogue trader and 80s idea of what's cool aesthetically perfectly. Still, I needed to swap in techie bits somewhere, so I started by snipping off the Stormcast Pauldrons. This would have been easier to do if I could have snapped the Stormcast in two, but I got this one off eBay and he was pretty solidly glued together. The original Stormcast head is also pretty great for a Techno Barbarian, but again, I needed to swap something, so I snipped it off. One of the reasons I picked the Far Strider specifically for this conversion is that his handbow is already in a shooting stance. For a hot minute, I thought about snipping off the head of the house corridor explosive arrow and gluing it to the handbow as a kind of techno bow, a bit like the one in Gears of War, but decided to swap it entirely instead from the bolters from a Mark III Marine. They have a less distinctly marine silhouette than a normal marine bolter and are a little more nondescript. To replace the pauldrons I'd carved off, I decided to use a casting of the same Custodes pauldron I had on the first Techno Barbarian to tie their design together and to make them look like one faction. In this case though, I sliced off the ridge and put it on backwards because it looked better that way. For a head, I chose the Space Marine Commander one. It has a cybernetic look that works kind of perfect for the weirdness of a Techno Barbarian and is the closest to a Duck Marine I'll probably ever make. Just as with my previous Techno Barbarian, it undercuts the golden sheen of his armor effectively. To add more of a tech edge, I drilled holes in the front of my Techno Barbarian and shaped the ribbed wire to look like cables. Usually I use guitar wire, but in this case I'd invested in some pewter wire which is enormously easier to use since it holds its shape. The last aspect of the Techno Barbarian to work out was his sword. My first instinct was to replace it with a chain sword, but that felt a little too easy and I actually really dig the angular lines of the original sword. Instead of replacing it entirely, I decided to upgrade it to a power weapon by snipping off the power portion of a Mechanicus pistol and gluing it to the back of the blade. I then affixed guitar wire to the pommel of the sword and looped it behind his cape to attach to some unseen battery. For the third Techno Barbarian, I decided to use another Stormcast as a base. In this case, this castigator I got off of eBay. I kind of hate it. The legs are both skinny and seem twice as long as the torso, giving it really weird proportions. But weird is the name of the game for Techno Barbarians, so it was kind of perfect. The first step was to snip off the arms. I wanted to keep the arms and bow intact, but didn't much care for the rest of the chest, so I felt no guilt carving into it. I planned to replace it entirely with this Adeptus Custodes torso to match that of my first Techno Barbarian. With the arms off, I measured them against the width of the Custodes chest. They're annoyingly a little too narrow to fit properly. To get a better fit, I sliced the bow in half and slotted in a few layers of plastic card. I was planning on replacing most of the bow, so I didn't worry too much about how it looked. With the width improved, I sliced down the bottom half of the torso so my Techno Barbarian could retain their original stance. I also took this opportunity to slice off some of the Stormcast iconography. That done, I used a sheet of plastic card to make sure the height was right and glued Custodes' torso to Stormcast's legs. I didn't glue on the bow and arm yet though, as I wanted to convert it into a rifle and felt that would be easier to do with it unattached. While I thought about keeping it as a bow, I felt like I could do better. 
I ended up not being able to, but hindsight is 2020. I cut off the arms of the bow as well as a good bit of the front section. This I replaced with a Catafrin torsion cannon. To add detail, I replaced two of the plastic card wideners with the magazine portion of a bolt rifle. Ahead of it, I added the scope from some other Primaris kit. I also added a few wires on the side of the rifle, but didn't like how the barrel was looking. So I snapped it off and decided to replace it with this cleaned portion of a Mark III bolter. As I alluded to a minute ago, I'm not in love with how the rifle turned out. It just doesn't sing or add any techno barbarism to the model. Still, I glued it in place using gloves of Procreate to attach the arms and used the same Custodes pauldrons I had for my previous barbarians. For the head, I picked one from a Gene Stiller Adeline kit. It continues the goggles and rebreather look of the previous two barbarians, but in this case is smaller. Being smaller, it gives the model an overly wide-shouldered look that contrasts well with the skinny legs. And with that, my Techno Barbarians were done. In all, I'm pleased with them, and I think they provide a nice vertical slice of one possible Techno Barbarian faction vying for control of pre-unification Terra. They were a lot of fun to make since they were so different than what I normally convert. Usually I'm trying to create something badass and cool, but with these I intentionally leaned into the kitschy, into creating something that was an 80s hair metal album cover idea of cool, and some of Warhammer's original rogue trader blanchitsu weirdness. I'm definitely going to be making more, though of a different faction with different aesthetic. Because there's not much canon on the Techno Barbarians, do you have a suggestion for a faction? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, hit the like button, subscribe, or check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.